In this example, we will demonstrate how to use laboratory test diagnostic imaging and procedures that you have previously marked as favorite so that you can more rapidly order them and document them as part of your office visit. In this case, I have a progress note opened for a fake patient and have given them three diagnoses. And now we're going to go ahead and order a lab test diagnostic image and procedure based on these diagnoses. To do so, we would click the treatment button and the main treatment screen appears. Notice that sinusitis is the tab that's highlighted because this corresponds with the assessment that was listed first, although you can choose whichever tab you want. Let's go ahead and order a CBC and a BMP associated with the sinusitis diagnosis. To do so, we click the Browse button and the ordering window appears. Notice the sinusitis is already checked. Now I could search for CBC, but if I know that I've already favorited it or there are multiple favorite labs that I want to use, the quicker way is to simply click this star and it will turn gold. Once it turns gold, I can see my favorite labs. I'm going to go ahead and order the CBC and the BMP. Now let's go ahead and order a lipid profile for this patient because of their coronary disease. Lipid profile is one of my favorites, but I don't want to select it yet. First I need to associate it with coronary disease. To do so I simply uncheck the sinusitis, check the coronary disease, and now click the lipid profile and it is now ordered associated with the coronary disease. Let's now go ahead and get a chest x-ray for this patient with their coronary disease. We could click OK and close the window and reopen it in the diagnostic imaging order screen or we can simply change from lab to diagnostic imaging here. When we click this it may ask us some specific information about a lab that we've ordered. In this case they're asking the number of hours fasting so we'll write the number of hours. This information is transmitted to the lab in this case. It now switches to diagnostic imaging. Notice that it switched back to the first diagnosis, sinusitis. This is important because you may be ordering a study off a different diagnosis, so I'll just check here first. Let's change it to coronary artery disease. Unselect the sinusitis. Now I want to order a chest x-ray, which I know I have favorited already. I'm going to click the star, and there are some of my favorite diagnostic imaging studies. I'm going to select the two-view chest x-ray, and you can see it added down here with the diagnosis of coronary artery disease. Finally, let's go ahead and order an EKG for this patient's atrial fibrillation. To do so, we can go up to Procedure. Click the Procedure button. Notice again that you'll get a question about the radiology test in this case. Will it be reviewed by the radiology group? The answer is yes, and hit OK. It now goes to the procedure section. Again, notice it always defaults to the first diagnosis listed. In this case, we're going to search for a, an EKG for atrial fibrillation. So remove the check from sinusitis, select atrial fibrillation. Again, hit the star, and we can see EKG complete. I click on it. It will ask me which uh, assessment I want to associate this with based on some of the procedure codes. In this case, I already have it chosen correctly, so I just hit OK. I've now ordered all of the lab diagnostic imaging and procedures that I want to order, although I could certainly type in others that I may not have marked as favorites and order them in a similar manner. When I click OK, it will drop us to the treatment box. When I close this, you can now see the orders here we can see the sinusitis has an associated BMP and CBC lab ordered. The atrial fibrillation has the associated EKG ordered. And the coronary disease has the associated lipid profile, as well as the chest x-ray ordered. These are now ready for the patient to go down to the lab and x-ray and have these studies performed.